Yo, what's up? This is a guide to Lies of P, where I will talk about how some stuff works, in case you're overwhelmed with stuff like I've already been. First, you gotta choose a class between Sweeper or Bastard. Sweeper means you'll Hulk smash your way to victory, and Bastard means you'll Shinobi your way to victory. And the balance means you have no big goals to achieve, or you're just lost in thought. As I have crippling depression, I have chosen the Bastard's path. Main difference between each other, Bastard, you're faster but deal less damage, and Sweeper, you deal more damage and are slower. In Souls terminology, Technique is Dexterity and Motivity is Strength. For example, the first weapon for Technique is weak but so fast that it makes up for it. And the first weapon for Motivity is slow but strong and makes up for it. Don't worry, since this game is generous, it will tell you which effects you're suffering from and it will explain you how to deal with them once you die. Just remember that here, you're encouraged to block more than dodge. So making use of that really helps. You can break enemy weapons and perfect blocks help you build the stagger meter of your opponents. When perfect blocking you don't take damage but you still spend some stamina. God regain is the health you refill after you block and you deal some damage but you gotta be quick as it fades after a bit. To level up you gotta talk to Sophia. In my first playthrough I've decided to level up until I could relatively survive the beatings. Then, after you save Geppetto, you have the P-Organs, which I've decided to first get the extra pulse cells, because those really come in handy, as you can survive a little bit longer and learn about the enemy's patterns or just straight up make a comeback. You also have a pulse cell refill mechanic. After you've spent all your pulse cells, you can recover them by dealing damage. Or later on you'll get some upgrades that refill them over time. This game really encourages you to take different combat stances over time. The bosses also recover their health after a while if you don't hit them for a while. One thing I did in the beginning was practice against this guy on the puppet factory entrance. That's a nice challenge to get used to the combat system. I was really bad and watching me play back then would probably make you cringe. Um, for reference, this is how I dealt with Victor in the first tries. And this is me now. You know the NPC is mad, but he just can't express it. A really important part of the game is also knowing when to use stuff. When fighting, the enemy health bar will start blinking white, which means they're ready to get staggered if you use a charge attack, or use a certain fable arts that have that red effect. But this doesn't mean just turn your brain off and attack as they can still move around and completely punish you for being greedy. Just like those financial guys who tell you the crypto is going to the moon, when the only thing going to the moon is my hopes of actually making it in life. At the end of the day, that's the basics. Remember that if you're losing against the boss, you can always go do some upgrades and try it again. I'm really guilty of not realizing I had a bunch of ergo and forgetting that upgrades were a thing. Then you realize you weren't the problem but your lack of thinking was. Which still makes you the problem. Talking about upgrades, vitality is health, vigor is stamina, capacity is capacity. Motivity is strength and technique is dexterity. Advance is the special effects like Legion arms and elements you can add to your weapons. The Legion arm is Pinocchio's left arm. You've got different Legion arms that go from simple punches to spreading diseases on the ground, to literally flying around the map. You can upgrade the Legion arms using the Legion calibers which you find around the city. These upgrades will unlock new things you can do with the arms from being able to walk while charging electric bleeds and being able to charge it longer to the classic being able to fly around the map. The advance also helps with the elements you can add to your weapons. After you save an any, you can add grindstones to your arm, but from the beginning you have these items which do the same, but you gotta buy more afterwards. Advance makes it easier to build these stats on enemies and then you just deal passive damage. Real quick, puppets are weak against electricity, carcasses are weak against fire, and humans are weak against acid. So it's also a good idea to switch builds depending on the area you're at and the enemies you'll be fighting. But the thing is, some Legion arms are also heavier than others, so you gotta pay attention to your weight. From 60% to above you will be heavy, which means you'll be slower and your dodge rolls will also be slower and less effective, which makes 59% the max weight you should carry for maximum efficiency. So for that you gotta upgrade your capacity, which can be done by leveling, using the carrier's amulet or reaching new game plus and getting the capacity P organ upgrade. Reaching new game plus 2 means you've taken into account everything I've said here and it actually helped you. 
So it means we've reached the end, as you might imagine there's a bunch of stuff that would be cooler you discover on your own, and things you learn just by entering the game for the first time, like lying and telling the truth. This guy is for you to be able to actually play the game and discover all the awesome things this game has to offer. From a guy whose first Souls experience was this game and was pretty overwhelmed in the start. But all things said, this game is an absolute gem, make sure to appreciate the journey.